Hello, N4HNH here with the Yaesu FTDX 5000 MP. Does this radio have any birdies? Well, I just wanted to let you know I've run across one. I actually I've had the radio now for a year and I ran across this very early on and I thought today, you know, I'll shoot a quick video about it because people often wonder about birdies. I shot a video about the uh, FT891 a couple of months ago. Um, because there were reports of birdies on the 160 meter band and indeed they are but they're so so low in amplitude they don't even register on the s meter uh, and when you as soon as you engage an antenna you don't even notice them so uh, that's why i've been using an ft891 mobile and for backpacking for nearly three years now and i've never encountered an issue so the FTDX 5000, uh, being a radio receiver, also has a birdies. Now, the only significant birdie I have found is on the 60 meter band. Um, and, and again, let me explain why would a radio have a birdie. It's because of mixing. You know, how the oscillators work uh, to produce IF, uh, you know, intermediate frequencies. And so it's going to happen. The idea is, is in the design, the engineers will... Uh, make sure that the birdies don't fall into an area where you intend to use this radio. So being that this is an amateur transceiver, um, they've made sure that the birdies don't fall into bands that we're going to operate on. Now you might say, well, wait a minute, you said there's one on the 60 meter band. Well, there is, but if you watched my video about um, the 60 meter band, you understand that it's channelized. So let me show you where the birdie is. You see it over here on the far left of the scope there? Now that's looking on channel one of 60 meters. I'm gonna to move to channel two. You'll see the birdie moves closer. And then I'm gonna to move to channel three and it gets even closer. Oh no, you know, is it gonna cause interference? Well, here we go to channel four, closer. 5.373 and then I'll go to channel 5, 5.405 and now it's on the other side. So the birdie doesn't fall into one of our five channels that we use. Okay, now you know we also have another five that are uh, used for CW. But again, the birdie never is never going to be there uh, in the way because of the way they designed the receiver. Now I'll show you, I, I'm going to get out of memory mode here and go over to General Receiver, and I went ahead and located this birdie. It's at 5.384. So that is not a frequency that we are allowed to use as amateur radio operators uh, on the 60 meter band, so it's no harm to us. And uh, so, you know, since a radio's got to have birdies because of the mixing, uh, you might as well put them someplace that uh, will not affect us. So there it is. All right, so yes, the FTDX 5000 MP does have a birdie. That's the only one I have found. Um, and again, no no problem with, uh, with operating the radio on the 60 meter band because that birdie, and I'm going to go back to memory mode, doesn't fall anywhere that would affect us. All right, thanks for watching and I want to thank uh, Patreons uh, who uh, help support the channel. Uh, www.patreon.com slash n4hnh any help is much appreciated to help me keep the content coming um, any gear that I can acquire I will try to do reviews and tutorials uh, like this I did recently acquire an FT3DR uh, HT so I will be uh, doing a future video about that specifically focusing on APRS um, how to use the APRS function so that your family and friends can go to APRS.fi and watch you uh, as you hike, for example, in a mountain or something, or you're camping somewhere, and in case anything were to happen, they would be able to uh, locate you. And also, too, you can use it for putting out, uh, uh, for example, something like summits on the air spots, soda spots. So I'll be doing a, a video on that in the future here, near future. Okay, thanks again for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. 73 from N4 H&H. &H.